Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Uh, now, what I'm going to demonstrate within this video, and you can see here by looking at the uh, by looking at the video that it it's really a cloudy day. the The sun's not that great, and the video itself kind of looks uh, to be in a tropical environment. It just doesn't look that awesome. So I'm going to show you some color tricks that I do here. So for starters, what I'm going to do is select this video clip. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to Effects, Color, Color Correction, and then drag that over onto here. Now I've already dragged it there so you can see that it's already there. So what we're going to do now is go to Video, and then once you're in Video you should see Effects, you should see Color Correction and Color Board. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select Show Correction. Now once I'm in Correction, for this scenario there's a few things that I'm going to do. Uh, for starters, I'm going to go to Saturation, which is the middle tab. And I'm going to drag this middle option up. I'm going to drag it up to get the color to look more... Now see, if you drag it way up, you can see it makes things look fake. See? It's at the very top. And when it's just at default, everything looks fine because I did film this with a good camera. But watch this. You bring it to about right there. And this is a matter of the video clip and personal preference. But this will just make the colors separate because see as I go to other parts of this video when you look at the water you can see the different colors in the water. And here's, here's right here is a good example. You can see that. That's kind of a lighter color than that. That's lighter. Also the foliage on shore stands out better when I did the saturation. Um, so now what I'm going to do now that I've got the saturation like I want it I'm now going to go to exposure which is this tab right here. And when I'm in exposure, I'm going to drag this far white button right here. You can see you do way up, now the clouds and everything disappear, see? So that's too much. You go way down, it gets too dark. And you're at default, it's just kind of not bright enough. So what I'm going to do is bring it up just a little bit, and now you can see the whole scene looks brighter. But I can still see the clouds. And as you scroll through the rest of this, you can see it just looks, it gives the video a more watchable look. And just looking at this, see how, see the different green colors, and then you can see the, the blue on the sailboat, the blue chairs. Everything stands out and just looks better, in my opinion. So that's a quick, uh, a quick color correction tip. I know a lot of my fans had asked me how I do it, and that's how I do it. Now, again, not every video clip is the same. So just because you adjusted the, the color correction levels to a certain degree on one video doesn't mean that it's going to be the same with the other video because lighting conditions vary, the type of camera varies, uh, maybe your camera's got a lens filter on it. There's a lot of variables that come into play. But I hope this video is of value. Be sure to subscribe and share with others. It's youtube.com forward slash guy. And check out my playlist full of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. And if you can't find it there, send me a message. Uh, facebook.com forward slash irixguy and tell me what you'd like to see and I'll try to uh, try to address it with an upcoming tutorial video. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.